folks? I'm Nick with Rotor Quad Squad, and today I'm playing with iFlight's Revo B F4 flight controller. Now this may look familiar, but it does have a few upgrades. This is a, an F4 processor with a micro SD card upgrade version of the Omnibus from iFlight. Now this is $39.99, so it's right up there with the, the equivalent cost of a lot of these higher end flight controllers. It does feature an MPU 6000, so it is capable of running up to 8 and 8 refresh without problems. You will want to dampen it. It does support D-shot, multi-shot, one-shot, blah, 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 all the shots at full 8 and 8 with no problems. It has a built-in OSD right here. You can wire it into the camera and the video transmitter. It does have 128 megabit black box storage, but it also has the SD card, which can read up to, I believe it's 2 gigabytes for onboard black box storage or data logging. It does support SBUS, PPM, PWM, Serial. And you know what, I'm actually looking forward to playing with this. We all know that F4s have way more power than we'll ever need, but I'm gonna try and push this one to the absolute limits. I'm gonna create a pretty tight stack with their little four in one ESC as well, and hopefully have an insanely clean build. I'm gonna go thrash this thing. And the last of this build comes forward. This is my iFlight iX5S running that F4 board, iPika F4 board with their iPika 25 amp and the iFlight F Force 2300 2205s. Now, this board is actually a great performer. It does use the Revo B um, file, flash file, and it, I mean, it just it works very well. You can see. I've got the 4-in-1 ESC wires literally, come on, there it is, literally plugged up and run immediately to the rail right above it, and that's all that's in the stack. I've got the 5-volt power, the 4 motors, the ground, and that's it. Everything else is, this is all FPV gear, and then the satellite is literally just plugged in. Come on, camera. You got to keep up. I'm going slow today. There we go. Literally just plugged into the, the board. So, I mean... As far as clean stacks and builds go, you get rid of this long, crappy wiring that I did on purpose, and there's nothing to this. So, appearance-wise, this is a great board. It is definitely tight. I had to put some tape between the USB ports in there. Again, because I'm using a 4-in-1, I could have soldered on the bottom of the ESC pads, but whatever. I did it how I did it. Uh, as far as performance goes, you notice I don't have this dampened. There's no soft mounting on this whatsoever. And no, I didn't soft mount the motors. So, no soft mounting whatsoever, but I'm still running 8 and 8 refresh. No problems there. I am running D-Shot 600. So, side by side with my multi-shot enabled twin of this, it's, you know, great performance. It works very well. I believe it's like 4% CPU load, and I've turned nothing off. I do wish Race Flight was... Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to get into race flight. Whatever. Race flight is great. It works well. Beta flight's great. It works well. It's just kind of a waste of an F4 processor to not actually have anything to do with them. But as far as this one goes, it works really well. It's $39.99, so it's right on the upper expensive end of F4 boards, but then again, it is based off an Omnibus, so it performs well. I mean, it has that um, 2-6S to input voltage, excuse me, and it does have a 5 volt power regulator, so this in a way acts as a small sort of PDB, so you're paying $39.99 but you're getting a flight controller that's an F4 board, you're getting the built in OSD and you're getting the built in 5 volt regulator, so on one hand it's kind of expensive on the other hand you're replacing three different components in this one component, so would I go buy one of these if I was doing another one of these builds? Absolutely um, do I recommend it for everybody? No, probably not, because most people don't actually need F4 processing power. But would I advise against it? Hell no. This is a great board. It works wonderfully. So go check them out, iFlightRC.com. I'll link down below. Like us, subscribe, find us on Facebook, hit me up on Rotor Builds, this page, whatever. And y'all enjoy flying. Mm -hmm.